Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of the day you're watching this. Today's video is on a documentary review by Dave Crosland. Uh, if you haven't seen the documentary, it's about an hour long. It's links in the description to his website where you've got to pay for it. It's only 9 99 so stop being a tight ass and contribute to the industry. But before I start, I got an email from a subscriber and he sent me a link and he said, watch this video, this kid's copying a lot of your material. I thought, I'll have a look. I opened it up and this geezer that used to train at my old gym in Pittswood. And my subscriber commented on his video saying, have you been watching TM Cycles? You seem to be copying a lot of his material, title layouts and names. Harry replied, all my videos I do are from my own ideas. People asked me to do videos and they could have watched TM Cycles. But I don't copy no one. It's about being original. Hmm. It's not about being original, is it really? Because I looked at the video and it was very similar to mine. And me being my stubborn self, let's take a look at some evidence. Evidence number one. Not that long ago, I was sitting here drinking tea from an Arsenal mug. And a cup of tea in an Arsenal mug, because I'm a geezer. Come on the Arsenal. Because I'm a geezer. I guess we're both geezers then, aren't we? Evidence number two. Remember the other day when I was reviewing the Optimum Nutrition amino flavoured berry blast flavour, whatever it was, and I said the joke? This is amino energy, this is a blueberry flavour, no shaker, just in the uh, in the glass. Mmm, that's very nice. <laughs> Cheers. That's uh, very nice. <laughs> mm, very original. Evidence number three. I do a day in a diet or a day off the diet video, yeah? So I spend Sunday to Friday eating clean and I have Saturdays off. And if I want to eat a biscuit, I'll eat a biscuit. Whatever I fancy I'll have. So if I want some biscuits, I'll have some biscuits. But um, it's more of a what I want to eat is that's what I'll eat. So, for example, if I want to eat a packet of biscuits, I'll eat a packet of biscuits. If I... Fucking hell, you can't wipe this stuff. Last but not least, Yesterday, or the other week's video, I got in my car and I said, I'm going to do what the YouTubers do, they put the key in the car, etc. I should do what most YouTubers do and is just film themselves on the way to the gym. Have you noticed that on YouTube? They get in the car, they press the car button, open the door, the door, the car, the keys in the door in the house, and then they put the music on. Thoughts in as all the other YouTubers like to, you know, do that little clip of them going to the gym in their car. They like get in the car, turn the key on. Put your radio on. Yours has seen better days. Get to the. So there you go. Evidence. It does seem like it's copying me, but I shouldn't really get annoyed. Copying is a form of flattery, I suppose. Anyway, on to the video. I'd always been fascinated by like the muscle men cartoons, you know, like E Man and that sort of stuff. That sort of superhero, freaky size thing. And I think I've always had a bit of a problem in visually seeing myself for what I truly look like. That was just a brief extract from the trailer of the documentary. It is a great watch. I highly recommend it. It's about an hour long. It's starring Dave Crosland, done by JG Films. I first saw Dave Crosland when, I don't know if anyone rem remembers, there was a documentary done by Jody Marsh on steroids. And about a week after, Dave Crosland did a video about that and about how badly portrayed steroids were in the industry which was brilliant and the documentary itself is just surrounding him trying to be as big as possible he clearly says that he's not a bodybuilder anymore he's not a strong man he just wants to be as big as humanly possible he's 350 pounds plus he makes rich piano look small which is saying something because rich piano is built like a brick shit house and it is what the pumping iron and it's what the the generation iron should have been it should have been that gritty dark insight into what bodybuilding and the drugs and the food is really like. There's all sorts going on in the documentary. There's extracts of him filming, just like an out and out fucking animal. He says he gets into a very dark place in his mind in order to lift weights. There is videos of him sight injecting. He's jabbing into his like fucking triceps and calves. And there's extracts of him when he's eating, you know, in excess of like 10,000 calories a day. And he's very much that whole mass monster. If you want to get big, you've got to eat big to get big. And having watched that, I've realised myself I'm getting too worried about staying lean on this off-season. I need to sort of kick things up a bit. So as of next week, myself personally, I'm going to increase my calories a lot more and see how I will get on. It's also nice to see his wife in there as well talking about it. I won't go into too much detail. I'll end up telling you the whole fucking story. But she's very much supportive of him. And there's a nice little bit she said that it's like when you're old, you'd rather sit there and say I've done it than sit there and say, I wish I'd done it. The link is in the description box. I advise you all to go and watch it. He's also on YouTube. Some people dislike him. I don't know why he's very credible in terms of scientific 
evidence back in his steroid usage, but that's for you to judge. Anyway, that's from me, and I'll uh, see you all soon.